Yeah, men don't dress up to the snacks. It's just pregnant women. Wow. The women that have already been dressed up. I didn't do breakfast this morning, so I'm all up for that. Are y'all trying to do like snooze? Is this part of the... Trying to like kiss up with the judges? Yeah. Alright, so they'll go through all the packets. I don't want to miss the... I'm We are Baby Cakes, and we design unique and quality diaper baby cakes for your baby shower. This is our print ad, which will be running in magazines. And if you look in your folders, you can see that. And also, if you look in your folders, you can see our business card. As for promotion, this is our logo. Our slogan is Baby Cakes, You Bet. And what makes us different is we design not only the traditional baby cake, type of baby cake, well, but also different styles as well, like the carriage mold. And we've created this commercial to allow potential customers to understand what Baby Cakes has to offer. And here's the commercial. This was our baby case order form where you'd put your name and where you want it sent to and if you wanted a boy or a girl baby cake. And then our niche was also that you could have your initials put on the bib, which is on the baby cake that you subscribe of your baby. If you knew what the initials were. Alright, and in the baby cake it includes all the stuff that babies use a lot. Like, the wheels are made out of the diapers, and it's under the receiving blanket. There's several diapers also. Um, it also has three bibs, and it has a receiving blanket and a fleece blanket. It also has baby powder, baby oil, baby lotion, um, cups, a teething ring, and it has towels and a bottle and a bottle cleaner. Part of a trans women oh, that are pregnant and women that have are had their children to say what they would have wanted the most for their on their children. Say that one more time, please. As trans pregnant women and women that have already had their children, so they can say what they would have wanted for their baby shower. Target mark. Okay. This is our survey, which we would give to women, any women that will probably be going to a baby shower or a pregnant woman. Um, 
we have for them to select a boy or girl, would it be customized or original? And the original piece is what you see. Um, customized would be for a girl or boy. Um, price range are fifty to eighty dollars for the small, eighty to one hundred and fifty dollars for medium, one hundred and fifty to three hundred dollars for large. And we have a list of supplies that they could check that they would really want to be in their baby. Here's are some examples of baby cakes that we did for our customers. There's an original one, and here's another one. You can choose, and you can customize it if you want to with the sub. Any questions? So I've never attended a baby shower. Help me understand where the whole idea of a baby cake, I've seen baby strollers in front of me. Where, did you, where does the name baby cake come from? Well, originally um, baby cakes were um, kind of decorated in like a cake um, shape, but we wanted it to be unique and we just um, did a carriage. Okay. So they're usually in a cake shape and added with the supplies, but we just wanted it to be unique and we did it. So, so you took an original concept that, a, that looked like a cake, mm -hmm. and you've come up with something innovative like this. Yes. How did you, how did you establish your price points? I mean, like, if, you know, if we're going to invest in your company, how did you establish these price points? Um, with all of the objects that have gone into it, mm -hmm. we just based it off those and what would equal that out, and just what we would profit from a little bit, just what the products are. It depends based on if you want, or the custom -wise, customizable ones, it depends on how much they are because you can get different items in it. Okay. So you got, so you have this product, how much would this one sell for? You, you kind of had a range, but what would you as a team estimate you would sell this for? This would probably be a medium size and they I think that was from 60 to 80 okay. um, we uh, the price range that we did for this was about $60 so it would be okay. a medium so if this is 60 can you estimate how much you have invested in this to determine how much profit you would make off this probably about 40 or 50 dollars we put into it so how much time do you think you had invested in gathering it, gathering the materials and putting them together? Um, it was like a minimum of three or four hours. Okay. So three hours. You would sell this, let's say, for $60 mm -hmm. and you had $40 in it. So your profit is $20. You spent three hours making it. So you just paid your entire team $6 an hour to live off of and to run your company off of. You see where I'm going with that? Yeah. Okay. It's just thoughts about how to price something. You make sure that you are making as much as you need to run your company and make your income, and then you work backwards from there as well. So anyway, creative. I like it. I think there's a lot of good stuff there. Is there anything that you, now that you've seen it, that you wish you would put into your presentation? Um, what you were just talking about, about um, the prices, we could have um, put more detail into the prices. What did you learn? What, what do you know now, after doing the project, about entrepreneurship that you didn't know when you started? Exactly how much you have to do to make one product, what all goes into it. Mm -hmm. Like creating an order form, a website, mm -hmm. commercial, a logo, everything that goes into it. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't take just one person. Yeah. It takes a whole group. Right. Did you find that some of you were better at 
organizing the logo, and some were better at putting this together, and some yeah. were better, you know? Yeah. So, <laughs> nice to have different talents and different people. So it sounds like it was more than just your product. You're, you, you've done a lot more with the mm -hmm. project than just that baby cake. Cool. Right, let me look at the rubric and see if I've got all my answers. Ms. Bell, have you got anything? You're a woman, you go to these things. <laughs> Did you actually register a domain for your website? We did it on the school of science. Okay. School of science. I just checked to see because babycakes.com.biz.net.org. Pretty much everything that's out there is already taken. So if you were to actually go live with this, what would be your solution for a We would website? probably have to get a different, um, we would probably have to make a different name. Or just add. Yeah. And there's a website where you can like type in what you would ideally want as a, um, website and it'll tell you if it's yep. not um, preamplified. Do you have, did you think of um, allergies in your product? Well, did Johnson you have Johnson is not We did Johnson Johnson and that's, um, how about, no, uh, what's it called? All organic line? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. That's the new saying, all organic. <laughs> Found that out the highway. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thank That's good. You. Thank you. Thanks for Thank coming. You. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do we need you. to step out while the other group gets ready? Or? I tried to all the charter schools together, but they weren't practicing nowhere near us. So. All right, Harris, not putting pressure on you, but. Okay. Yeah, if you screw up, it doesn't look good. Thanks for that. <laughs> we are bouncing babies. And we whoa, are whoa, whoa. Isn't that abuse? You bounce babies? No. no. And we are going to introduce our new line of products of diaper cakes. And some of our CEOs are... Harris Morrison. For Shady. Chandler Mills. Joseph Matthews. And Nick Hayes. Here's our commercial. Bouncing babies. We sell diaper cakes for all your baby's needs. These diaper cakes include diapers, baby formula for baby food, baby bottles, and everything else your baby may need. Our price ranges start from $40 to $160. Also, you may customize your diaper cake to fit your needs. You can reach us at our website, bouncingbabies.com, or at our phone number, which is 424-3445. Hey, how are you doing? Bouncing Babies, we would like to sh tell you that we do give the best products at a fair and nice price. Our prices range from $45 to $150. This all depends on what kind of customization you choose. It's, it's just what you prefer. Uh, it's pretty much it for the prices. Uh, also, Bouncing Babies, we go green. So we have cloth diapers instead of your normal uh, conventional diapers which you can use and support good con uh, 
good environment. Um, hi, I'm one of the CEOs. Um, I would like to talk about the customization, actually. Well, the good thing about our business is that we include co customization that most um, companies do not include, which is very good. We, you tell us what you want on baby cakes, we will deliver it. Um, you tell us when you want to ship it off, we'll ship it the day you send, um, you give us the money, we'll send it off. So you make, you make sure you get it on time. And you can always remember, uh, here at Bouncing Babies, we do live by a standard of always having uh, clean diaper cakes that are going to be able to provide for your child, as well as be able to give you the custom service that you all and, you know, want to have. And you always remember, you can reach us at the contacts on our website, you that the www.sites, Google, at Bouncing Babies, or Bouncing, and you can always reach us at our phone number to call us up, so you can be able to be able to get your Dr. Cake in and you're able to use it. Thank you. And bouncing Babies is safe for babies, okay? It's, it's not abuse. You're not you're really good. Bouncing Baby. Okay, yeah. you're no. It's Bouncing for Joy for Babies, okay? So this yeah. this example, this would be what price range? You got a forty five to one hundred fifty dollar range. It's a pretty big range, so right? Uh, but 50. fifty. That would be a fifty dollar cake, yeah. mm -hmm. right? But it does not include the customization. Actually, we charge extra because it supplies. Like you tell us what you want, it might cost a little more though. We so might. so this cake, right? How much does this cake cost? That'd be around like fifty dollars because it's uh, stock. Okay. So, customize around price too. So, how much do you think you have invested in that diaper? Supplies. Um, About thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five. Thirty-five dollars. And right. how long did it take you to create that diaper? Okay. That. Um, it took us about uh, forty-five minutes. Okay, so it took you around up to an hour. Right. So. Yeah. You had thirty-five dollars in material, so you had fifteen dollars for your labor. Right. So how many of you worked on this cake? We all did. We all we contributed. All I mean, okay. as a business, you're supposed to contribute, have an equal. I'm money. with it. I'm with it, brother. So you had fifteen dollars of profit for forty-five minutes of work, so one hour. So you just paid each of your sales three dollars an hour. Right. So you're worth three dollars an hour. Well, right. You but thank you for making more than one a day. Three dollars an hour. You could churn these out faster than just forty-five minutes. So you think through becoming more efficient, you'll be able to do one cake in less time. Yes. You think you yeah. should? You could put one out in twenty-two and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. Probably. Yeah. yeah. So now we you're up to six dollars an hour for you and your family's salary and to run your business on. Right, but you're also gonna have to think that um, our company is kind of new to everyone else, all our customers, so they might not trust us. So we have to bring in the customer first. Sure. Can you build a company on six dollars an hour per person? It's not an answer you gotta have. I'm just saying. You, so but you have to have the money back up. We might have a job. Okay, so this we would be a, a second job. career. Right. We so might. all of you guys would huddle around with your wives at night. Right. Making baby cakes. Yeah. Okay. That'd be nice. I mean we're starting out. I mean it's not like I didn't, a relationship like I didn't that, right? say cuddle with your wife. I said huddle around. It's a good relationship yeah. builder. <laughs> it's uh Relationship building time. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Entrepreneurs have to sacrifice, but it's just something to think about as you're planning a business. Always look at your time and how much is your time worth. Yeah. Because you got to If you don't have revenue to build the company, then you never get better than you are the day you built the company. Does that make sense? You got to have something to keep expanding. So, how do you how do you market this? What are these people we market it through our website and through the commercial. I guess what we our targeted market would be towards anybody going toward a baby shower. Anybody like thinking to so anybody really. So, so where are you going to market it? So where would we market it? Right. Around family neighborhoods. So, so you're so like how so how are you going to market? So so if you're marketing around neighborhoods, how 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 does that? I mean, I'm just curious. How does that happen? Well, we can send out like things like flyers to the mailboxes, things like that, and make sure they get to them so they're at least seeing it and knowing that, hey, we're here, we're able to provide for things like that. Okay, so you would produce a flyer. Did you have a flyer? No, we have business cards. Okay, so you got business cards. I saw your business cards. 
So, so you would need to produce a flyer to distribute around a community yep. to get your name out. Okay. What's your other form of advertisement? What are your other forms? Commercial. We have the commercial. So if we had it on TV, I mean, it, it wouldn't be as probably as like a because not everybody would be able to see it and the the uh, variety of who's seeing it may not you know, be in need of anything like that service. So that's that was one of the other ones. So what time of the day would you run your commercial? Like what time slots? Probably like evening. towards the evening, towards when your PBS Kids still show still on. Just kind of have that. Kind of probably have like on ETV or something because that would be the most uh, probable one that those parents would be there to see. So in the evening on ETV? Yeah. You had lots of pictures scrolling through while you were talking. Would those be potential baby cakes that the you know, customer could order? Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, yeah. Do you have a non-cloth option? Since cloth diapers are getting a little more popular, however, I would not say they're mainstream yet. Yes. Oh, and yeah. You yeah. Either, you can get the cake in either or. Okay. You can, yeah. Like, it'd be an option where you click what kind of diapers you want, cloth or regular diapers. You click one and we build your cake the way you want it. Okay. How do you ship that? Would you ship it already like that so you just box up what's on the table right there? Because weren't you saying in your commercial it sounded like you shipped two people, they didn't pick it up. Was I mistaken? Right, that's why we kind of have our website. Right. I'm with you. Well, if we're like, if we're only doing like around the town, not like shipping it across country, we'd probably deliver them ourselves. Okay. Like in delivery trucks or something. Okay. Or to your house, wherever you want it to be. If it's, it's longer, if it's you know, out of state or something, then it'll have to be shipped. I have, I've listed about five or six other things you're going to be spending some pretty big money on. So in future projects in the class, when you're thinking budget, all these little things like now you got to have trucks or vans, now you got to put gas and maintenance into those, now you got to buy TV ad time, now you got to buy flyers and have manpower to go distribute your flyers. Yeah. So just kind of keep that in mind when you do future products, projects in this book. What, what do you wish you had put into this presentation that you didn't? Now that you've done it, you're like, ah, we should have said that. Uh, I think we should have put this, actually put the website, I should be able to browse through it a little bit. So that it would be more, so you already kind of know, so you don't just go in and try to find everything by yourself, so we'd be here to be able to explain it. Okay, okay. So actually demo your website. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Anybody else? Maybe adding like fees, like a delivery fee. Okay. Mm -hmm. What What are some things that you know now, today, that you didn't know or think about when you started this project? Uh, the dollars an hour thing. Okay. Putting the budget together. Or what's something maybe that Ms. Robinson taught you and you didn't really pay attention and you go through that and you're like, oh yeah, that's a great point. Um, that running a business is not a one-man show. You have to work together. Tell me, tell me about that. Well, you can make a major decision without consulting others. It could uh, ruin the company. It could like to jeopardize the company. How did, how did you come together as a team to produce this? Because I watched you. Y'all were typically all together. You weren't renegading and running around doing other things. You were typically together when I see you in school. How, how did that help you? Because we shared ideas, and that's what really helped us. We consulted each other. We asked. We gave each other ideas, and that's how we came up with the presentation, the commercial. We didn't like really uh, wing it for commercial. Mm -hmm. We knew what we were going to talk about. We talked about it before we did. Um, what makes your doctor pay? What is your marketing niche? Um, that's Thank you marketing all niche is going green okay. and the fact that we can customize based on looks or price. And we're very price competitive too. We will match the prices if you think the price is unfair. So I can name my own price? Well, you have to give us a company that's selling something just like it with the same materials and everything. Okay. So you would match another company's price? Right. Yeah. 
What makes your product better than theirs? Whole customization part. The cloth deckers. We're going green. We're recycling. That's How are you recycling? Cloth deckers. Are you recycling or you're providing opportunity for them? They're pr providing to recycle. Okay. Because theirs were pretty customized. Mm. So they got the customization too. So you are, yours has environmental aspects built in. Um, we provide better customers, uh, customer service too. I mean, like I said, we're very price competitive. And if you're not happy with our product, we will offer you a refund. You know, if you've given me all my stuff, I can ask for a refund? Well, you, you can't use the diapers. I mean, then we can't really offer you a refund. I mean, you don't be so worried about pricing that you apologize. If, if you need to charge a price, I'm telling you, from business end of it, if you need to charge a price, charge the price. And if people don't want to buy it, it might not be the price, it might be your product. Because if you don't, you're going to you're gonna go bankrupt anyway. You also, what you know what I'm also, we put a lot of thought in our, in our baby cakes, too. Maybe other companies just like mass things together while we actually think things through, through before we put it together. Okay, so I'm, I'm talking to five men five about a product that is marketed to women at an event that most men don't even attend. So we don't even know the secrets of the baby shower. How did, how did, you, how did you research your product? Because I wouldn't know, I, would, I, I didn't know baby cakes existed until I saw your baby cake. Uh, we used the internet a lot, went on different websites of people that actually do this for a living okay. and saw what they did and kind of based our, our thing of, with it, but we added new techniques and new things. A lot of the websites we went on, they didn't have the customization. They just had, here, find a baby cake that sort of fits your, fits what you want it to look like and we'll make it and ship it to you. We really didn't, and a lot of them didn't have the cloth diapers either. And so we just we thought of, well, I'm not going to buy a diaper cake with a penguin on it if I'm doing a Halloween diaper cake. So we could put in the customization uh, aspect of it. I'm hearing customization from four of them. Um, How do I, do I have to call you to customize? Can I customize through your, you didn't show the website. Can I customize through your website interface? Yeah. How do I customize? It's like, it's like off the internet. It's, it's kind of, well, it's give us like, a theme and then we'll go with the theme. We could give you okay, but how do I give you the theme? If I order online, is there a menu that I can choose from online? Is there a, hey, click on the things you want in your basket or on your cake or? We give you the option to call us or, or go to our website to browse through our um, baby cakes. But if you don't find anything you, you want, you can call us and we will talk about it and how much it's going to cost. Okay, so my customization has to be through phone. Is limited to talking to one of your customer service representatives on the phone. Right. <clears throat> so I can look at your website and see examples, mm -hmm. and then based on that, I would then have a conversation with your customer representative. Correct. Okay. What's in this cake? Uh, it's like uh, bear, balloons, sippy cups, washcloths, spoons. We got, if you turn around, we have baby There's socks on the and bed. spoons and baby shampoo, baby powder, Pacifier. lots of diapers, pacifiers. Pacifiers on board. Uh, the, the, the cap, the, the hand, mitts, and um, cloths, diapers. Blankets. Like yeah, there's blankets balls. in the middle. Uh, you can't okay. see it. So they're built around the blankets. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Last chance. What have I not asked you about that you wish you could share that would make the difference as I choose which company I'm going to invest in? <clears throat> Are you confident? I'm confident. Huh? I'm confident in our I believe it is the best I could do. I'll have your confidence.
we have quality. And customization. Quality oh, yeah. or quantity. <laughs> All right. So I guess now we got to decide which one we choose. All right. So if y'all can step out and don't talk too much smack.